God, it took you long enough. What? <laughs> Getting old over here. I have more buttons than you. <laughs> there are buttons and dials and blinky lights and shit all over the. For, she has lots of buttons. I have more than you that have to be. They all have to be managed. Uh huh. You yeah. Haven't taught, you haven't taught Grady how to do that yet. All Grady knows how to do is sleep and knock things over. Those are his only skills. One of my jobs at the cat shelter is I do follow-up calls. Um, after you adopt a cat, we follow up with you at a week, a month, and three months to see how things are going. And one of the follow-ups I got back today on one of the kittens is, we just love her. She's the sweetest little thing, and she's really smart. She's learned how to turn off my alarm. <laughs> so I'll stay in bed with her longer. <laughs> That okay, that's impressive, and yet not quite the lessons you want him to learn, because that's a problem. Yeah, I mean Simba. Dan gets up way earlier than me. Simba sits on the end of the bed waiting for me to wake up. He's very polite about it. If I'm not awake, he just waits at the end of the bed. But if Dan comes in, he gets up and tells Dan off. Yeah. No, she's still sleeping. Mm -hmm. oh. He's my little sleep guard. That one just likes to yell at us. <laughs> well, Nash, Nash, Simba, he might be, you might hear him tonight because he has a bad habit of scratching on the molding around the guest bathroom door. I don't know why. It's that spot. He loves it. He's tearing the wood up. So we put double-sided tape on that spot to stop him from scratching, and he is not amused. He's okay. just around howling at us we tried that too and grady got around it i do i want to recommend something for you this it's called stop that and it's not paid advertisement it's just it's a product <laughs> we got for the cats is that scent or sound um both um it's it's a spray that's like grady hates it um mm -hmm. but it doesn't hurt them you don't spray it at them you spray it and it, okay. it smells they don't like the smell they don't like the sound and they learn to. I, I, Grady does not get on the computer anymore. Uh huh. He does okay. not climb on the computer. And we oh, also. Eight. I mean, it's not for. We have, we have scratchers every five feet in this house. I think we have more cat furniture than we have human furniture. But no, they love to like, scratch the wall. The galaxy has got nothing on me. This place is catified. And yet, they still like to scratch the things they shouldn't. <laughs> And the girls don't. They're well, Peggy scratches on the rug when she's not getting enough attention and she wants to act out. But he just I think he just like gets excited. And if you're in there peeing, he has to like scratch on the door frame before he barrels in and watches you pee. That one too. Exactly the same. I don't know I don't know if anybody out there knows this if you don't have cats. Having cats means never peeing alone. Nope. Ever. And if you try to close the door, it's like a fucking zombie movie with paws under the door. <laughs> yes. Paws pushing the door. Scratching on the door. All three of ours have different door opening. Peggy leads with her head and just head butts her way in if you don't close the door all the way. Dottie does the thriller where she just puts one paw in. <laughs> and Simba just literally jumps up and throws his body against the door. So the door flies wide open. And then he comes barreling in. He just walks straight into it with his head. Simba has all the subtlety of a jackhammer. Uh, so. Why did we get them again? Because we love them. And they're floofy and ridiculous. I also, Dan's birthday is next week. And I got him birthday balloons this weekend. And the girls are <clears> terrified <throat> of them. Yeah. Peggy and Dottie are... Just absolutely terrified of these floating things. <laughs> they like jellyfish. Yeah, they're like, no, fuck well, that. Every time they move, they both scatter. They're a, a like, natural <laughs> demon beast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it is time to get to. That's what's new with the cats. It's time to get to less adorable things. Let's get the intro going. Let's see if I can do the intro right for once this week. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out and meet 
worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong? Um, we're going to start off this week. This is one of those moments where I think movies have taught people very wrong lessons. Especially, and I, it's two particular type of movies that have taught us the worst lessons. Romantic comedies. That's one. And um, any sort of uh, college comedy. Yeah, my college experience was nothing like those movies. This is not, okay. You, you may have a tussle with your significant other, which gets especially awkward at work. I've been there. That's not something you want to contend with. However, this is not the way to conclude the issue. Felony rap for Dumb as Dirt, Florida Man. I like just the, uh, just the title. The title, yeah. They, 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 they went there. <gasps> yes. Yes. Florida Man used a front-end loader to dump a bucket of dirt on the vehicle his girlfriend drove to a meeting with him yesterday afternoon. Cops charged that Hunter Mills, 20, Met Thursday with a woman on a road adjacent to Fill Dirt in Inc. It's a great uh, company name. An it's Oka a pun. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a pun. Okaloosa County excavation firm that sells topsoil. Mills connects to the company is not addressed in an arrest report. Well, the report works uh, lists Mills' most recent education or work affiliation as Crestview High School. Seems unlikely he is a graduate of that institution. After the woman arrived at the meeting site in a white 2010 Cadillac, Mills approached in a front-end loader with a load of dirt in the bucket. According to investigators, when Mills' girlfriends, quote, refused to answer a question, he proceeded to commit a felony. The defendant dumped the dirt on the driver's side half of the vehicle, causing scratches to the top roof, hood, and trunk. Um, added that the window was down during the incident, which caused dirt to fill the air vents, center consoles, and power windows. Woman was not injured. Cadillac's owner, whose name is redacted from the report, subsequently arrived at the scene and estimated his vehicle suffered 8,000 in damages. Mills reportedly confessed to the dirt dump, claiming he, quote, did this in an attempt to get the woman to leave him alone. Really? That explanation did not stop deputies from arresting Mills on a felony criminal mischief charge. Dude, my dude. Because I know when I want <coughs> my ex or stalker to leave me alone, what I do is call them to my place of work. It is very effective. No. Dump a bucket of dirt. Okay, look. But I will grant, I probably shouldn't, but just, just for the sake of argument, I will grant this is a frustrating situation, sure. However, this is not going to make it go away. You have just lashed this person to you in the holy matrimony of a felony. Yeah. That means... You've seen a lot more of her in court. Yep. Yep, 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 and yep. And honestly... Yep. They're both lucky because she could have been injured. Yes. That could have gotten in her eyes and fucked up her eyes. Mm -hmm. She could have inhaled it. It's a bucket of dirt. It's dirt. It's not right. light. Like that she could have been injured. And it's not like you're doing this surreptitiously because everybody's watching you do this. You're in a front end loader. A front loader. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I would have thrown the car in reverse this, the second I saw the front loader full of dirt. Uh, true. I would have stopped for a conversation. I would have been like, oh, it's going to be like that. Text me. I just, this is like it wasn't her car. <laughs> it wasn't even her car, no. And it's like one of those, it's like, well, this would work in a movie. This is how you solve stuff. I just, I dump this and it's done. And this is like a rom com thing, isn't it? Yeah, that worked in Back to the Future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time travel is another thing that worked in Back to the Future. <laughs> no, but th this is this is like a rom-com move, isn't it? 
Yeah. This is like the kind of shit that would get everybody in a rom com would be like, this is a thing that happens. We're fine with it. The cops never get called. Nobody goes to jail. When in the really real world, that's crime. Yeah, it's crime. It's not acceptable. The fuck, you idiot! And like, we we have we have battles over car maintenance because my car is pretty much always filled with takeout bags because I eat car a lot. Guilty. Yeah. Like, I do not keep a particularly pristine car. Where, like, if he leaves a coffee cup in the car. It's it's a thing, like, and he's like, I know the car's a mess because there's a speck of dust. Like, there's a coffee cup and a speck of dust. Yeah, we're we're very opposite. We're, we're different. Well, you way. know, one coffee cup completely ruined different that episode ruined. of Game of Thrones. So that's true. That's true. That's true. He does like his car to be era appropriate. All right. <laughs> Next up, um. I was kind of surprised that Pokemon Go is still a big thing. I thought that, like, peaked and died off, but no, it's still a big thing. Is it? Okay. Well, it must be, because our next story... Someone was very enthusiastic about it still. Trooper finds driver stopped on shoulder using eight phones... For Pokemon Go. Really? Washington State Patrol Trooper checking on what he thought was a disabled vehicle discovered the driver pulled over to play Pokemon Go on eight phones. Uh, State Public Patrol Information Officer Rick Johnson stopped to check on a car at the side of, this, uh, of State Road Route uh, 518 and discovered the driver was using a blue foam holder to play the popular game on eight phones at once. Johnson said Why? the driver was not ticketed because Smith did not see him using the phones while the vehicle was in motion. The driver advised to move the phones to the back seat and not to stop on the shoulder of the road except for an emergency situation. Okay, but why? Um, well, this is this is a, a tradition that that stems from computers and and uh, MMOs. Any game that has an account, this is what's called multiboxing. You see, on the any given phone, you can only have one account at a time, right? But well, why do you need more than one? Because that means you can catch more Pokemon more quickly, and well, you can ca you have a better chance of catching the rarer Pokemon. And you can also fa farm Pokestops, which give you free items that you can trade with other people. All you get a whole bunch of in-game stuff. Do you get money for this? <clears throat> you know, I don't. I, well, gold farming, yeah, that it. You, you can, here's the thing you can do. Yes, you can, by selling the account. Oh, okay. Which, which you, I'm like, that seems like a lot to go through for imaginary cartoons. Well, what you do is you work up the account, you catch all of these characters, all these Pokemon on the account, you have them all set, you also have bunches of in-game currency and all this ready to go, and then you sell the account to someone else. But you then get, what's of buying it because isn't the point to catch them so once they're all caught what do you do with it it's the same thing with like an mmo account people will send sell mmo accounts right but then you you still have the game to play as far as i understand where pokemon go the game is catching the pokemon well it's also fighting you can also fight oh okay because i'm like yay i won <laughs> i like okay. that uh john the wizard pokemon go into debt yes but this is, okay, number one, I do not believe he was not using this thing while driving. Even though Pokemon Go will stop you, say, you're going too fast, you can't catch things. You can get around that. You can screw with your accelerometer in the phone and trick it. You can get around that. But even if you don't, you're in the breakdown lane. There's a reason it's called right. the breakdown lane. Think about your choices. You're in the breakdown lane playing eight games of Pokemon Go. I have things that I like. I have a dumb, like, cat candy crush game on my phone. I've never found myself having to pull over to play it because my free lives were going to run out. Like, no. 
I also love how he, like, crafted this special holder for eight yeah. different phones. Like, he measured out the size of eight phones yep. to cut them out of this foam. Like, that's... that's Catching all the Pokemon at once. And they're all different kinds of phones. Yes. That's quite an operation. Yeah, well, he's just, he, he's just grabbing whatever phone he can cheap that'll run the game. So he can run multiple accounts, and then when he's ready, he can sell the account. Alternately, you could just not buy eight smartphones. <laughs> and not have to worry about getting that money back because your ass didn't spend it. Because hmm? they're probably not going to recoup the cost of eight smartphones selling Pokemon Go accounts. Yeah, that, that, that's another thing you can do. You can, uh, you can play Pokemon Go as a passenger in the car. You just have to click a button that says... I'm the passenger in the car. So you can lie. Dan's built-in GPS does that. Like, <clears throat> you can't type while you're driving. Yeah. But you can say, like, I am the passenger. You can lie. That seems like a bad plan. <laughs> yeah. But. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Let's move on to, to more car shenanigans. And this... I don't know how she thought this was going to work, uh, but bless your heart, you tried. Um, woman calls cops to say her car is stolen as she speeds away from them. An Iowa woman apparently tried to trick the cops who were chasing her by calling 911 to report her car stolen. Oh, honey. <coughs> it didn't work. The woman was driving 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. She sped by police Tuesday morning. Uh, when a deputy tried to pull over her gray 1998 Buick Century, the woman ran a red light and sped away. Then she entered a business parking lot, turned around, headed in the other direction. During the chase, she called 911 to report her car was just stolen. The woman told the dispatcher she left the keys in her Buick. Buick Century. Yeah, there's a big demand for 1998 Buick Centuries. That's the hot car this year. I think that was the plot of the last Fast and Furious movie, right? Like, they were all chasing the 1998 Buick Century? Wait, those movies haven't been about cars in yeah. five or six movies. <laughs> Woman then drove through the same town, running stop signs as she sped from the police. She continued the chase into another county and even drove her over stop sticks. But they didn't stop her. Iowa State Trooper put another set of stop sticks, punching her tires, and finally ending the chase. Rachel Thurnberg, 20, another 20-year-old, was arrested at the scene. She was charged with looting, speeding, reckless driving, and driving with a suspended license. Okay, I want to try and figure out how telling them it was stolen was going to end the chase. Yeah, that wasn't going to make them stop chasing you. It's like, oh, it's stolen? Okay, we're chasing the wrong person. Wait, what? And it wasn't going to stop you getting arrested, <clears throat> even if you crafted a brilliant disguise during the high-speed chase. No, oh, right? It's not like you could say you, you give them a fake name to get arrested under. <clears throat> and you wrecked your own tires. Yeah, you did. So this was just a lose-lose-lose all around. Like... Okay. I, she, like, tried to scam them, but I don't understand how she thought the scam was going to work. Trying to scam them into doing, chasing you more? I don't get it. How is that going to work? <laughs> okay, you had a plan, but I don't, uh, you, I don't even know how your plan worked in your brain. This is like there's, like, a gap in there that this... This is like drunk logic. You know, when you get really drunk, you, you think you come up with things that, that make perfect sense yeah. at the time. But then you sober up, you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? I mean, you yeah. find, you find, it's like three in the morning, you wake up, you're laying on the bathroom floor, you've got a pipe wrench in one hand and duct tape in the other. And you're like, what the fuck was I trying to do in here? Was it, what the hell was it? I've ever been in that situation. Most of my bad drunken decisions have involved dates. <laughs> Mine have involved home never, renovations. What can I say? Never duct tape or plumbing implements. No, it's so, all. No, when oh, I yeah. get when I what, when I get drunk, sometimes I like I can fix that. <laughs> oh, that's Dan sober. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I have a running list of all the things I've said I want to get that he's like, I could build that. And I'm like, cool, we've lived here three years. You ain't built shit. <laughs> Let me just buy a bookcase. But I could build a bookcase. You can, and I believe that you can. You're not going to. You don't have the time. Yeah, Let me the, just buy a bookcase. But this is like this is like drunk logic. You have a plan, you try to put it into motion, but the problem is there's a very important part of that plan making sense completely missing. Yeah. But gosh darn it, you're gonna try anyway. People are saying maybe her plan was to try and dump the car. What, like bail out? Yeah. Tuck and roll? Maybe. <laughs> then run away. How often does that work? Try to escape. They're gonna call you to tell you they recovered your car, and they're gonna hear your phone ring. Away. <laughs> You're gonna be like, "Wow, it's so lucky I was in the neighborhood." <laughs> my keys. Ah. Uh, well, here is an actual drunk moment, but this we go from the twenty-year-old to the uh, complete other end of the spectrum. Everybody's stupid this week. Um, Montgomery, Alabama, man charged after swinging at state trooper, exposing himself outside Capitol building. Wow. Montgomery man was jailed Saturday, accused of exposing himself outside the Alabama state Capitol building and throwing punches at a state trooper. Julian David Murphy, 60, was charged with disorderly conduct and public lewdness. According to the affidavit written by the state trooper, Murphy approached the law enforcement official's vehicle when the state trooper was parked. The subject was talking out of his head and saying things that did not make sense. Um, exited the vehicle and asked the subject to move on. Murphy allegedly became loud and cursed at the state trooper when asked to move on. This, this is a quote. At that time, the subject gave me a thousand yard stare and took a swing at me. Somebody's getting poetic. Uh, trooper blocked the swing and backed away. This is the part that got me, okay? This is this is the part of the story that I, I... I am not familiar with this fighting technique. No. Murphy then, quote, dropped his pants with his back to me, put his finger in his rectum, and then came at me swinging. Now, here's my question. What? What? <laughs> Did he have one <laughs> finger in his rectum and swing with the other hand? <laughs> or was he trying to stink fist him? Because <laughs> those are two very different attacks. Yeah. Like, was he punching him with his other hand up his ass? Or <laughs> parse on that. Yeah. I have heard of... He's swinging what? I have heard of very many strange Balls? fighting styles. I've heard of, you know, uh, there's the, the, that Brazilian dance fighting style. I've heard of that one. Capoeira. <laughs> dance head turns summed it up perfectly. <laughs> what? Dance head turns summed it up perfectly. <laughs> I'll beat you with one hand tied up my ass. <laughs> Brody thing from Mall Rats? <laughs> <laughs> and I want to give you, let's have a look at 60-year-old Julian David Murphy. There's the mugshot. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> like the Six Flags guy attacked a trooper. <laughs> it's, like one of the, it's like one of the observers from Fringe just went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Master of Pujitsu, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. I mean, it doesn't say what he was swinging. Maybe he was reaching for something. I mean, there's swinging and then there's swinging. Swanging. That's one of, Hang on, I had a lot of fiber today. Let me get something to hit you with. <laughs> That's one of those moments in life that you're like, really? I made this choice? Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could have just not done that. 
Like, how much did you drink for breakfast? Oh, speaking of things you could have just not done. Oh, this motherfucker. This That's is like the subtitle for the show. Things you could have just not done. This motherfucker. You. Sovereign citizen 33 threatened to bring a gun to Florida Walmart if he found the toy car he was buying was broken. Florida man has been jailed after police say he threatened to return to a Walmart store with a gun if the remote control car he was buying did not work. Clearwater police arrested Rob Shaw. Uh, Clearwater police spokesman Rob Shaw say police arrested 33-year-old Anthony Reed, old enough to know better, on Monday evening on a felony charge of making a false report about using a firearm in a violent manner. According to the request report, Reed made the threat on Friday just days after 22 people were killed in a shooting rampage at an El Paso, Texas Walmart. The report cited by Tampa Bay Times says Reed may be a, quote, sovereign citizen, a term that refers to an anti-government extremist, who consider themselves not subject to any laws. Can we talk about that bullshit for a minute? You don't get to not it, government. <laughs> oh, I love these fucking assholes that are like, no! Law doesn't apply to me because I said so. Uh uh. Not how it works. No. We live in a society. Yeah. Look, you might not you might not like how we all all, all of us arrange stuff, but this is how we talking monkeys get along with one another. You don't get to opt out. Go somewhere else. It, you don't like how it works here. You're in Florida. <clears throat> Start walking east. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be a sovereign citizen, go your ass out to international waters and stay there. Yeah, get yourself a boat, go into the middle of the ocean, and leave all of us the fuck alone. You oh, can shoot fish. Oh, for fuck's sake. Reed proceeded to purchase the toy with his wife's debit card. One, he's married. And two, really? He's a sovereign citizen. And he is not subject to anyone unless his wife says he can't use the debit card. <laughs> oh, and here's we got the mugshot there. That that's that's a winner. This is over a toy car. A toy, a remote control car. And it's not is our Walmart's return policy, I think, is pretty incredibly neat. lax. Like, you could just bring it back for a new one and not shoot anybody. Mm-hmm. It's a toy fucking car. I forget which, uh, which comic said that you could, uh, you could take, uh, Walmart's return policy, you could take diapers back to, to Walmart that have already been used. Yeah, these already had shit in them. Oh, I'm sorry, we'll take those back for you. When I worked at Sephora, mm. our return policy was almost that lenient. <sighs> Or in Nordstrom, or like there are other stores that don't take returns, so people would try to return stuff that they obviously bought somewhere else, and we'd have to take it most of the time. They've cracked down in the intervening years. You're threatening. But, you're threatening to shoot someone over a toy car, and you're 33. Now, normally, I'm not. I don't go. I don't get upset with people, adults who collect like anything. Oh, you know, you you yeah, have. I got shelves of fun codes back here right. like you collect your shit you like transformers collect the transformers you like uh baseball cards collect the baseball cards you do you as long as you ain't hurting nobody and you have a hobby have fun with it this however you've given us all a bad name yeah because if you're threatening to shoot people over your fucking toys and your goddamn adult maybe you could get away with that shit if you were five I'm going to shoot a gun at you if you break my toy. Everybody's bought stuff and brought it home and it's broken and it sucks. Uh, Nobody likes it. It's not an execution offense. You just bring it the fuck back. Jesus Christ. Fuck th this motherfucker. This guy right. This fuck. This motherfucker. For fucking real. 
You're gonna be a sovereign citizen <clears> of the system. <throat> Good luck with that. Um lastly tonight we have a whole new category uh for what the fuck's wrong with you. Um That's hard to come by after <clears> this many years. I didn't think this was possible. <laughs> um this is ha have you heard of speed running? Running really fast? No, it's it's a video game thing. It's where you try to finish a video game as fast as possible. And you oh. time yourself. Okay. And it's it's a big thing with, especially with game streaming. It's it's just like it's a it's a competitive thing. You try to to like like finish Super Mario Brothers in like five minutes. Gotcha. So um well this week we have we have um someone who attempted to speed run what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh no! We should have a video game. Ohio man accused of committing ten felonies against seven people in twenty-one minutes. That's a Guinness World Record. <laughs> Ohio man is facing ten felonies and two misdemeanors That's after a shot. It after <laughs> it is. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> That is a mug. He's like, what have I, my God, what have I done? <laughs> um, an Ohio man is facing 10 felonies, two misdemeanors after he allegedly robbed or attacked seven people in a one block radius within a span of 21 minutes. Grand jury indicted Rodney Edward King Jr., 29, on charges. Is it that Rodney King? No. Nope. It's, I it's feel a like different I mentioned it. Okay. Um, during a half-hour time span, the man went from one location to the next with a one-block radius, committing multiple felonies against seven victims. The indictment alleges he robbed five random homes, attempted to enter a cab, threw a rock at the vehicle, causing damage. From there, he got on a bus, pulled out a screwdriver, and swung it at the driver, hitting the driver in the foot. By then, police received numerous calls at the crime speed spree. He was arrested immediately. Charges include aggravated burglary, aggravated robbery, felony, felonious assault, and aggravated menacing. Yeah, this is the guy trying to get five stars on GTA. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, we should have a video game where you try and do increasingly stupid things to get on our show. <coughs> Five houses in twenty minutes. That's amazing. That is Gosh. you. You know what happened when this started? There's someone on on the street with their stopwatch going. That was like he that before the start. He guy went time me. Okay. <laughs> like what happened here? That's what the mugshot is telling me. Because look at the look on his face is yeah. What happened? He really does look confused. <laughs> I didn't see. What? To me, it looks like he's like I don't care. Hell no. That I could have done it in fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't think I could break into one house and be out in twenty minutes. <laughs> Shit, seriously. And he actually robbed, it says robbed five homes. Robbed five out. He got something from each home. And then as he was leaving, he saw, found, ran, he tried to rob a cab. He tried to get on a bus. His getaway was trying to get in a cab, and then he tried to get on the bus. <laughs> the bus is not going to be your getaway car. The bus is not a good, I'm willing to bet the reason he got into an altercation with the bus driver was because he did not have a ticket or any sort of, of change. Yeah. Didn't get off the any quarters from those houses. Yeah, you can't threaten them to get on the bus. No. That's they'll just close the door on you. Yes. <laughs> and then you're not on the bus. And bus drivers have seen some shit. You don't impress them. That is th this wow. I I is it wrong that I'm somehow impressed? No, cuz I am too. <laughs> It takes me more than 20 minutes to get from my car to, like, <sighs> take my shoes off. Because <laughs> I sit in the car, I check my phone, then I come in, I put all my stuff down, the cats all have to sniff me, <laughs> Dan says hi, I get a drink. Like, 
Was he just like jumping in and out of the windows, like like the fucking crashing his way in, grabbing the, like 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 something and crashing his way out the next one? Like the fuck, Jesus Christ! He's Flash, that's my guess. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I guess the first thing tonight is it is possible to ride. To the first thing we learned this week is it's it's possible to ride rob five homes. In twenty one minutes, if you believe me, <laughs> you just visualize yourself robbing. Yes, minutes. you just put that energy out into the universe. <laughs> if you will it, dude, it is no dream. I mean, if you have that kind of mind over matter, you should use it for something better than robbing houses. But um, we've learned that if you try to opt out of government, you're probably a douchebag. Yeah. And Jesus. It's not Christ. optional. I, I I'm just gonna I'm gonna say that as a blanket policy. If you try to decide, no, it didn't count. Then didn't, didn't apply to me. Nah, 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 nah. You're probably a douchebag. And it's always yokel white dudes who are it is. It. It's it's like and especially old ones, old white dudes do it too. Yeah. Um the ones who like pretty much all the laws are written for them anyway. We we've learned that um, you you can't go into battle with your finger up your butt. It mm -hmm. just it does not work. It's you don't have great leverage and balance that way. You don't. You will confuse the shit out of your opponents. You will. <laughs> you will break their rhythm, as John Mulaney would say. Is this like a sea cucumber that like shits its guts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, street smart. <laughs> gotta put your finger up your own ass. Sweet, street smart. Uh, oh, I've thrown him off his rhythm. Um, we've learned that you can't. They're not going to stop the car chase if you call them and tell them the car was stolen. That's not. I don't know what you were trying to do there. They're gonna car chase harder. Yeah, that's that's. If they believe you. Yeah, that that's like, oh shit, it's stolen. Mm, now you're in worse trouble. Yeah. Um, we've learned that, uh, for fuck's sake, that, that, that there is apparently a lucrative world of trading Pokemon Go accounts. Yeah. Enough to get yourself almost the fuck arrested. And finally, we've learned this week... What? Pokemon safely. And finally, we've learned this week, if it works in a rom-com, it's probably not going to work in real life. For fucking real. Most of the things that get the girl in rom-coms, in real life, we call stalking and harassment. Don't do it. Or felonies, or yeah. uh, uh, breaking and entering, or yeah. uh, property destruction, uh, or assault, or battery. Yeah. Um... Those aren't instructional videos. Rom-coms are probably one of the worst things to happen to our society. Yeah. Ever. 